Hey guys, and today I'm going to be trying to build a jet car. So basically, using the big jet engines, which you can see on this vehicle here, um, I'm going to be trying to make that but into a car. So I'm going to be adding a massive jet engine onto like just a car, and hope that it makes it extremely fast and like it accelerates quickly. And I mean, if it wasn't for Secret Ferno X for gifting me the airborne pack I wouldn't have been able to do this so thanks for gifting me the pack because that is very skibbity anyways um, so what I was thinking I was thinking like an old style like truck with a massive jet engine in the back is what I was thinking so we need to get rid of this and basically so I'm gonna just try and build a truck first of all um, what seat would I want I want to also be able to do this in first person view so I'm gonna use this which tends to be pretty good for first person view due to the fact that it's more open, it does have side bits etc. So I'm just gonna try and build something cool and I'll see you when the cool bit is getting cooler I guess, so yeah. Okay, so this is how the truck is looking so far. I think it actually looks alright, to be fair. Um, I'm just kind of changing the colours, making it look a bit better at this point, because um, it functions perfectly fine currently. Currently. Let me emphasise that. Um, because there are some engines and there are the large jets, because I feel like it still needs engines, because if not, then it will just look a bit... They just want to look a bit odd in my opinion, but I'm just going to make this look a bit nicer um, and all that, and I will see you once it is nearly kind of done, maybe that is not what I was meant to clone. Um, so what I'm thinking is, like, I want it to get over 100 miles per hour, but if I'm struggling to get there I'll swap out these wheels for a different pair of wheels because these tend to be not as fast as for example the off-road wheels or like the motorbike wheels or something so we'll see how it goes and if it goes fine then I'll use it if not then I won't so yeah um, I'll carry on building and figure out how this works and stuff and yeah Okay, so this is test number one, and I'm going to make some different advancements, so it's like a truck with two jet engines. I was originally going to go with one, but two just fitted, so you know what, I thought, why not? Um, I don't even know if it reaches over 100, because it does that, it like drifts out and just completely breaks itself. 
I genuinely think it's because the suspension might not be as stiff as it should be. So I'm just going to put damping. I don't even know what damping genuinely means. I'm going to be real with you. I just think it's how much it flexes left and right, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure that's what it means. <laughs> and let's just put both of these up. So then we will have slightly stronger suspension because it's kind of hitting the floor right now. Uh, oh, that's a bit better. So driving normally on tarmac versus like dirt, it's it's top speed's about 50 miles per hour. But then if I take the jets, we are getting faster. Oh, but then we spin out by the looks of it. So what I think we need to do genuinely is increase the amount that like, the gyro stabilizer is doing and see how this goes. We need to find like a flat, a very flat road so then we can test this out. I could go into test zone but I can't be bothered so I'm going to go find somewhere else. Where I think up here, look at that, that's a flat road, that's a flat road. Is, nope, that's not what I was meant to do. Yeah, I can teleport here. Perfect. So if I respawn my vehicle here. And then we can see. Eighty six going uphill, keep in mind, this is uphill. I think that's pretty good, but I wanna get at least over a hundred because with these jets for some reason like last time I tried it in any form of car it wanted to like push down for some reason so I'm gonna try and make that not happen as much and this road looks all right come on I think it, I think it could reach 100 you know what what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this and then I'm gonna head straight I'm gonna head straight into test zone so I'll see you there I guess okay so we are in test zone and um, this is the vehicle that I'm so, normal top speed is about, yeah, 50, 52. Alright, now let's activate the jets. Just speeding up. Is it only about 90? Why is it? It looks like it's turning. I think it is. Okay, um. Yeah, top speed is about 90, but my target was 100. But I want to see what happens if I remove, like, all the engines and I just let the wheels roll with the jets. I just want to see what happens, so. Let's just see. So if I turn around here, then I make sure I'm straight. Then I'm just going to hold the jets. Maybe it's the engines holding it back, possibly. No, by the looks of it, the engines will help in, actually, more than anything. And now I can't stop. Oh, no. I'm just going to have to keep turning. I'm going to add the engines back. So I had four up front here. Um, and yeah, um, this is my first like proper trail makers video. Or I guess you could say PC video, I suppose. So tell me if you have any other trail makers ideas. Game wise. But oh, I just got a great idea. So basically there is these... So there's the big large jets, then there's the smaller ones. If I put these throughout the whole entire build, maybe, just maybe we could reach that target speed that we want, that sweet 100 miles per hour. This is miles per hour, by the way, not kilometers per hour, because in trail makers, there's a setting for kilometers per hour and miles per hour. I have it on miles per hour because, I don't know, it just seems more... I want to do it, so... Top speed, it might decrease because a lot of it weight... Oh, wait, what? It's faster for some reason. Um, that's a bit weird, but... Now, if I activate the jets, hopefully... Ah, yes, we hit 100. Now, let's see what the top speed actually is. It's 112. That... Is sick. But now, you may be thinking... Well, now what are we going to do? Now we're just going to make it extremely cursed and stupidly fast. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> God. 
Okay, um... So, a drag wheel. This still looks like a truck in my opinion. It just looks like a drift truck. Is there something turning it? Because... I've not added a gyro anywhere, have I? No, definitely not. But look... Ready? Let's go. With drag wheels this time... I'm slower? Um, that is not what I was expecting at all, actually. We need to increase the suspension as well because it has been a bit... You know, let's just put it on max. That'll be easier to do. And then we can just keep adding weight no matter what. So far, I think my truck lo looks the part, but it isn't quite as fast as I'd like it to be just yet. And it turns automatically. Look. I think I'm just going to put the gyro stabiliser on max. Because then surely it can't like tilt or anything. I think that might be the problem. But I haven't seen it in first person yet actually. So In first person it looks sick. Which I like because I've always liked first person looking cool. You have the little thing where you can see your miles per hour. Obviously that isn't real. But it's there for aesthetics. What is going on? Uh, oh, there we go. So yeah, it looks cool. And it's pretty fast in first person. Oh! Yeah, maybe don't turn, but... Yeah, I think we could still make it better. feels faster but it looks terrible so let's see you ready go yeah it's so much faster and 150 we hit 150 it's jittering about a bit and it's turning for some reason um and now it's doing side wheelies oh that is it for this video make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this on trail makers etc and um yeah get up <laughs>